Now, hello again. This is Engineer Louis Alcarde from Midas IT Philippines. And, pupunta naman tayo sa ating second part ng ating uh, steel plant structure tutorial. This time in Tagalog. Um, pupunta po tayo sa ating second part which is the boundary conditions and loads. Now, katulad po ng uh, ating ginagawa sa Midas Gen, meron po tayong 3 parts modeling, boundary conditions and loads and design. Now this part, boundary conditions and loads, we will begin. Now that we have this as our model, <coughs> um, we want to go to our define tabs and let's go to first um, define our load by going to load set. Press po natin yung drop down button, static load set. Pangalanan po natin silang dead load. Siyempre yung load type niya is dead load. Click on add. This is live load. Load type is live load. And we click on add. Na makikita po natin sa ating works tree. That we do have, oh, we can just close this, that we do have our loads here, we added our dead load and our live load, now we are yet to define, now next is we want to go to our load tabs, load tabs naman po tayo after we defined our uh, load sets, we go to our load tabs and we define our self weight. Now, syempre self weight is gonna be only a dead load and we should apply that on the negative 1. We put negative 1 on the z direction sa so CKA factor because we want na yung application na ating self weight is gonna be sa uh, negative z direction. So, we click on OK. Now, this time, makikita po natin dito na sa dead load, meron po tayong self-weight na nailagdag. And, we can makikita po natin yan. Ito po yung ating dead load. Pwede po natin siyang i- like, katulad ng mga ginagawa natin sa ating mm, minus gen. Uh, it's gonna be undisplayed if we uncheck this one. Or if you want to see that all the time, you can just click on display or check that there. But for this time, we will just on display. Next thing we want to do is we go to our floor loads this time. We click on the floor load, drop down button. And first is our floor load type. Floor load type naman po, papangalanan natin siyang roof because we only have a roof. We are not doing a multi-story steel plant structure. Ang dead load naman po natin dito, it's gonna be, lalagay tayo ng scale na negative 0 0.25. While sa ating live load, they're gonna be negative 1. And we click on add. Now, you can see here that we already have value for our live load. Makikita po natin yun dyan. Now, we are yet to define pa later. And then, we go to our assign our floor loads. We click on floor load. And sure, I'll make sure na load type is roof. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, type is one way. And we click on add, and now we uh, we choose kung saan po natin niya apply yung ating roof load or yung ating floor load. Now, since they have a different plane, gagawin po natin ito. We will apply this roof load in here in this part. Escape. Okay, sorry. Again. Let's do that again. 
Now, this time naman po pala, pwede natin gamitin yung ating um, spacebar. Kita po natin if we have applied that. And we do another one in here. Pretty easy. Okay, we can just click on our spacebar. Now that we can see that we have already applied our floor loads, which are which is our roof load, we can just click on OK for that. And now we can see that we have added our roof load, which is makikita po natin for under our dead load. Meron din po tayo under our live load, meron din pa tayong floor load dyan. You can always select to undisplay that if we want to. Now, after applying our roof loads or our floor loads, we can now apply our wind loads. Just click on the drop down button. Punta po tayo sa wind load function. Now, this one, we name this first wind load that we will have as x direction. We just click on the dot 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 beside code based. Dot dot dot. Select po natin yung N 1991 colon 2005 which is not what we are using here in the Philippines but for presentation purposes only ang range po natin dito is from 0 to 10 meters common parameters pwede po natin yung i-close um, next is we click on the structural factor dot 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 just click ok for that a long wind breath Lalagay lang po natin 15. We may get is 3.5 for this. Uh, I mean 35. I'm so sorry. 35. And natural frequency is 5.1. We can click on calculate. Kikita po natin yun dyan na mag-auto calculate na si Midas engine ng ating values. There. And we can just click on OK. Next thing is to consider the internal and the roof. And we can auto calculate um, pressure coefficient for breadth natin sa ating major axis. This is gonna be 15, and sa ortho naman is gonna be 35. Our roof type na pipili natin is dual pitch roof, and um, slope angle this time is gonna be zero since this is gonna be on the x direction. And just you click OK for this, OK for this. Ito na po yung ating wind load function on X. We can just click on OK for this. Now, that was just for X. We have to do another one for Y. Just do wind load function again. Now, Y direction. Same na po na ginawa natin kanina. The N1991. Range from 0 to 10. Um... Next is the structural factor dot dot dot. This time naman po, uh, same pa rin po sila. 15, 35, and 5.1. You can calculate that. Just click on OK. Same. Initial, internal, considered internal and roof. Auto calculation of pressure coefficient. Dito naman po talaga. <coughs> Excuse me to change ang ating values since ang major naman this time is gonna be 35 meters and ang ortho ortho, <coughs> ortho naman is 15 meters only still dual pitch roof and ang slope angle naman na gagamitin natin is 11.3 degrees I can just click on ok click on ok for that and nandyan na po yan automatic mag a add na po siya and just then click on ok now after doing that we want to apply our or to assign our wind loads now drop down button assign wind load and punta po tayo dito sa enclosed area since we have we have uh, different types here today we will be using enclosed area um, we need to uncheck generate ortho direction. This time, two way distribution po siya. We can minimize this para po makita po natin ang the rest. 
Now, we want to define our windward walls. Ito po yung ating windward walls on the x direction. Okay. Can you put it on spacebar? Kita po natin na we have applied our windward on the x direction. Now, sa leeward naman po, of course, yung nasa likod. Leeward direction there, spacebar, and uh, the other one naman is to define side A walls. Yung side A natin is gonna be the front view. Oopsie. Okay. Yeah. Ito yung A. Lastly, side B. Doon naman po tayo sa likod. Oops. Okay. There. Apply that. And that. Space bar. Now, you can see that we have done that already. Wind load function. It's going to be x direction. Ito po. Make sure. X direction. And we can click on add. Now, makikita po natin dyan na we have added our um, wind load on the x direction. Now, what we want to do next is to y direction naman po. Mm -hmm. Pwede po natin i-off muna para hindi natin makita ang ating mga loads. Dyan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wala na pong nakikita. Um, next is our Y direction. Yes, our window to or our Y direction. Same pa rin po. Generate, uncheck generate or other direction. Load distribution is two-way. Minimize that. Define windward walls. This this time, ito naman po yung ating windward walls on the y direction. Mm -hmm. Now, that's it. Um, leeward walls naman po yung nasa kabila. Side walls, yung A po natin, it's gonna be this, this portion here. Okay. And of course, yung ating leeward naman, nasa kabila. Okay, lastly, we define our windward roof. Windward roof po natin ay eh, itong, ito. Okay, we should make sure na ito po, tama po yung ating uh, nilalagyan or kiniklik na node to avoid uh, confusion po sa ating okay. Now that is our windward roof. Lastly, our leeward roof is going to be this one. Ah, okay. Hmm. Now that we can see that we have added those, we just click OK. Kita po natin na our Ayan po tayong wind loads. Ito po yung makikita po natin yung y direction. You can choose to display our x if you want to, but I don't want to. Ayan, balik naman po tayo dito. 
Anyways, this is our work stay. Mas, ano na po siya. Medyo siguro mas maliit, pero mas makikita po natin kung ano po yung ating nilalagay na loads as we go along. Now, we go to our static seismic loads. Static seismic load. Uh, this time, ito pa rin po siya. General structure. Mm, let's click on design seismic load dot 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 and yun, ang gagamitin natin is 1998-2004 again, this is not the code na ginagamit natin dito sa Philippines but this is just for um, presentation purposes approximate period dot 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 click natin to um, height na gagamitin natin is of course yung height ng ating Structure which is, which is 10 meters. We calculate that. We click OK. Automatic, may approximate period na po yan dyan. And we click OK for this time. And we click OK for this one. Now, kita po natin na meron na po tayong static seismic codes. Um, pwede po natin silang i-undisplay. Now, we are done with applying or static seismic loads actually. Ito po sila. Ito po yung on the x direction. Ito naman po on the y direction. Kita po natin sila. Mm, let's go now to our boundary conditions and mass tabs. Ito naman po. Um, loads to masses. Like what we did in our minus gen. Loads to masses or dead load. We want a scale factor of 1. We add that. Now, for live load, we want a scale factor of 0 0.8 this time. Again, not the real value. This is just for show. I mean, this is just for presentation purposes. Doesn't mean that whatever I do here, yun po yung gagawin natin sa ating actual projects. And we just click on add for that. Siyempre, we want to consider our self-weight. Mass direction po is gonna be on X and Y lang po muna. And we click on OK. So, makikita po natin. Ito na po yung ating loads to masses. Kita po natin yan sa um, dito. Hmm. Mass. Yan. Mass. May tayong loads to mass. Pwede natin siya on display or a display if we want to. Now, lastly, we want to apply our supports. Now, we can just go to our front view and click on support. Now, ang hihingin po ni ito po tayo mag-select objects. Ito po yun. Let's just select the bottom bottom nodes. Ito po na select na po sila. Yung type naman po is gonna be, for today, it's gonna be pin. So, we just click on OK. And we can see that we have our supports in here. We have added supports. Here. That one. Ang dami. So, pwede natin, si, pwede natin silang i-undisplay. Sorry. Yun po yung ating supports. Pwede po natin silang i-display if we want to. Okay. Now, lastly, we want to generate our offset. So, we click on auto-generate. Make sure na target natin is gonna be all members. Undefined member only. Check lang po natin yung beam offset rigid zone. Now, huwag na po natin i-click na remove auto-generated data. So, we have auto-generated our data earlier sa ating modeling part. Now, we go to click that. Now, kita po natin, no? Ano, ah, nandun na po yung auto-generated na offsets nila. And, so much for that. Now, we are done with our boundary conditions and loads um, part. Tapos na po tayo sa ating part 2. Um, now, um, Wait lamang po tayo sa next video. Let's just watch the next video on the design. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking up with me. And 
Uh, next. Have a great day.